What's going on everyone? Uh, the next app I'm going to work on today and do a quick look at is actually the Maps app. And what we're going to do is let's say we wanted to do a quick search. It's a very simple app that they provide with the, the iPad and iPhone. And what we're going to do here, let's just search on Best Buy. Okay, it corrected to I guess find find it spelled correctly. This little arrow here works to give our current location and we can use that and kind of navigate on our own. We can also do directions and click directions to what is selected as the closest Best Buy to us. Now this is the Wi-Fi only iPad 2. Uh, let's see if the compass how the compass works. So it asks us to do this little loopy thing to kind of to calibrate it. The compass actually works pretty well. And this was one of those things I was worried about how well the uh, compass was going to work in the iPad 2 because it did not have the GPS chip. And from what it looks like, it actually seems like the compass works pretty well in the iPad 2. If we compare this. Maps app to the iPad 1. It looks very similar. I'll try the compass on this one. There we have it. Turn, turn. Seems to work pretty accurately. So here we have, we've tried the search, we've tried the directions, there's also bookmarks. If we, want, if we wanted to add a bookmark for places that we've been, we can do directions to ones that we've created. And how you can create a bookmark is, you can go here, and we searched on Best Buy a few minutes ago. It gives us a lot of information and this actually connects to the, the Google database. And at the bottom here, we can see add to context, share location, or add to the bookmarks. The share location is pretty cool because it'll actually send an email, and you can email that. And if they have an iOS, then they will be able to also find that location. Very easy. Pretty cool if you're at a, uh, maybe you went to a party and um, you don't want to be bothered on the host with, hey, how do I get directions to this place? You know, everyone, a lot of people have iOS uh, apps these days, and this function, it might work with uh, Android and uh, the other phones as well, I'm not sure. So we, I just clicked on my current location, hey, I'm at the party, share the location, and then they will be able to use their map app to get to, get to the destination. There's also this cool little feature here, it's a little bit uh, gimmicky, but it's kind of neat how you can kind of drag it, just kind of showing off the the graphics of the iOS. Either way you can just click, drag, and then you can see different information. Uh, you can also drop a pin if you wanted to make a reference that wasn't exactly an address or your current location. And here is actually where I go to school, Nova Southeastern University. And if I wanted I could maybe zoom in and say okay my parking is right here for example and now it'll be able to create a a route for that whatever I want to name it I can adjust the information it'll give me an address that it finds closest to that pin and so forth that's a cool feature also we can change it to different types of map overlays if we wanted a satellite only uh, we can also have a hybrid this is the hybrid where it shows the picture the satellite view as well as uh, the actual streets that you see there. And then we can also add uh, traffic if we wanted to. Traffic is on or off. Just show a couple of the different, there's not too much terrain in Florida so I don't think there's much to look at here. But if you see the green lines, this is a pretty cool feature. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I imagine the cities have uh, set up sensors that interact with some sort of database we can see if there's a serious traffic jam coming up and some of the GPS apps use the same type of data to actually change your route if traffic is crazy. 
Okay, I think that's pretty much it, but it's a very simple app. It comes with every every device. And uh, of course, if I don't have, this is a Wi-Fi only, so it's not gonna work very well for me in the car because I don't have access to um, any of this information. And it's not even like it'll save very well the, the map. I think if I went out of Wi-Fi, it would just say there's no data and that I need to find a, a hotspot. Whereas the 3G one, uh, that was pretty neat about the 3G device is, first of all, it keeps a better location of my, of the GPS. Sees me move a little bit. And then also, as long as you had cellular, you'd have access to the maps. One other issue that I've heard about that is actually a good thing, and um, when I get the iPhone 5 when it comes out, and it should work with the iPhone 4 as well, is if you have the hotspot, based on the articles and news that I've been reading, is the by using the mobile hotspot, it will actually interact with the GPS and location data for your phone to your tethered computer or iPad. So that's pretty cool. It, really does uh, add all the functionality of the GPS, compass, and data by using the mobile hotspot. And I look forward to trying that out. Thanks for your time, everybody, and have a good day.